Hello, my name is Colin McDowell and I'm the Executive Principal here at Rocky Mountain Classical Academy. We are a pre-K through 8th grade premier charter school here at Falcon School District 49. We focus on a classical approach to our core knowledge curriculum in which we embed character education in all that we do. Today you're about to see our amazing campus as Lauren takes you from classroom to classroom to see who and what we are. If you have any questions, please make sure you reach out to us and we welcome you to the family. Welcome to Rocky Mountain Classical Academy, a premier charter school in District 49. My name is Lauren Hewitt and I am the Registrar and today I'm going to take you on a tour of our school. Usually these doors would be closed during the day when we have students in the building. The only way to get in is with a staff a key fob or if you're buzzed in by one of our staff members or lovely office ladies up here at the front. And we are going to head down this way. This is our early education wing where we have preschool and kindergarten classes. It is the second year that it's been open, so it's brand new. It's really awesome. Um, since our mascot is a knight, um, we do have a kind of a knight themed area over here. There's little pebbles here that the kids like to hop down in the morning. Um, a really cool castle mural up here on the wall. Um, and we do have our mascot down here, the knight that students like to um, say hello to in the morning, which is really sweet. And we'll head down this way. Over here on the left are where our kindergarten classes are. Here we have one of our full day kindergarten classes, and these classes do go from eight in the morning to three in the afternoon. Uh, they also do have a bathroom in the classrooms and a cubby area for the students to put their backpacks, supplies, a change of clothes, lunches. Um, and they do have desks where they get to store um, some of their supplies underneath. And these students also um, get to go to Latin, library, art, music, and PE, one of those encore classes a day. The three main things that set Rocky Mountain Classical Academy apart from other schools in the area are our partnership with parents, our content integration across subject areas with a core knowledge focus, and our focus on building positive character traits. Here are our Knights traits. We encourage our students to show kindness, nobility, initiative, and be generous, honest, trustworthy, and self-aware. Over here we have our cafeteria where students will come and eat lunch with their grade level. We have a servery over to the right where they are welcome to get their hot lunch and bring it over here to eat. Students are also welcome to bring their lunch from home. And we do have a table over on the right that is uh, nut free so if your student is allergic to nuts they have a separate area where they can eat their lunch. Uh, we do also have a lot of community events. Um, during the school year we have trunk or treat, cookies with Santa, different middle school dances that are all held here. Um, and we also have uh, Friday movie nights, sometimes during the summer, sometimes during uh, the year where they can bring friends and we have a big screen that comes down and students are able to watch movies with their friends and families. And over here, one of the best features of our school is uh, this giant slide coming down from the second story. And teachers are actually able to use that kind of as a reward for their classes. So even all the way up through eighth grade, students love coming down this slide here. Welcome to first grade. First grade students will start their days off with morning meeting time, WIN, and English language arts. After lunch, students will go to their math, encore, and writing and grammar classes. Students will finish their day off with science and history. In the corner, we have spots where students can store their backpacks, lunch bags, and class materials. Welcome to second grade. Second grade students will start their day with math, encore, win, and writing and grammar classes. After lunch, second grade students will go to their science and history classes, and they will finish their day with language arts.
Welcome to third grade. Third grade students will start their day with math, encore, and wind classes. Then they will attend their writing and grammar class. After lunch, students will go to English language arts, science, and history classes. Welcome to fourth grade. Fourth grade students will start their days off with encore and wind classes. After recess, they will have math, writing, and grammar classes. After their lunch break, they will go to their English language arts, science, and history classes, and they will finish their day with enrichment. Welcome to fifth grade. Fifth grade students will start transitioning to different classes to prepare them for middle school. A typical fifth grader will start with an English language arts or math block and transition to wind time, lunch, recess, science, and social studies classes with encore and enrichment. Over in the corner, we have cubbies where students can store their backpacks, lunch bags, and other class materials. Here we have our elementary art room where our kindergarten through fifth grade students will come in here once a week. Our art teacher also has art adventures where students can come and work on art projects after school. Over here we have our library and we have different literacy centers here at the front. Kindergarten through fifth grade students have a library day each week where they can come in and check out books. Our sixth through eighth grade students are also welcome to come into the library before or after school or during break time to check out books as well. Over here in the center of the library, we have a reading area where our librarian will sit down with our elementary students and read them a book and then they will have time to check out books and work at their different literacy centers during their library time. Here we have our sample schedules for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. Our core classes are literature, grammar, and composition, math, science, history, and lead worthy. And their encore classes um, are art, rhetoric and logic, Spanish, Latin, PE, music, and their order class. And they are very similar between 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And we do alternate classes on um, blue and silver days. So students will go to four classes on blue days and they will alternate their other four classes on silver days. And they do have um, two breaks during the day, one in the morning and one after recess. Over here we have our middle school art class. So we can come in here and take a peek. So all 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, um, when they do have art, um, either the first or second semester, they will be in here for their art class. All of our middle school students are assigned to uh, one of the 12 orders at RMCA and they get to compete with each other and they um, are assigned an order in sixth grade and they stay in that order all the way throughout their middle school uh, time here at RMCA. Um, once a month they do actually uh, elect student representatives to go speak with administration and bring up um, important topics, um, things that are going well, things that um, they're struggling with. So it's a really great time um, for them to practice leadership skills and uh, communication. So if you want to head down the hall this way, uh, we can go look inside one of our typical middle school classrooms. And we're going to head right over here into this classroom here. Um, this is how uh, one of our classrooms is set up. Um, it varies by subject and to meet the needs of all of our students here. Um, the desks are obviously going to be arranged differently for each classroom. Um, this is a language arts classroom. 
So um, this is just based on how the teacher wanted to get everything set up. There's things that are appropriate for the subject on the walls. And then over here, we also have storage area for students to hang backpacks, put um, their journals and other books and materials for storage so they don't have to carry them all day. I want to thank you for joining us here for our virtual tour of Rocky Mountain Classical Academy. I hope all your questions were answered by Lauren and I hope you had a great time. Please make sure that you're reaching out to us with any follow-up questions and we look forward to seeing you next school year.